So what exactly is candlestick and how do we actually use candlestick patterns uh, to trade the stock market? And this is what this video is all about. I would say the only candlestick patterns uh, video you will ever need and pretty much for beginners. Hey guys, Joey here. Welcome to this video. Um, top here with my in Philip Securities Trader. And you know, in this video, we'll be talking about everything about candlestick. How do we actually use candlestick when we are looking at the charts? How do we use it to get in, to get out? How do we time our entry? How do we exit as well if you're seeing like any candlestick patterns? And how does it all fit in? I mean, do we just look at candlestick by itself or we look at other things like the trend and the support and resistance and all that and this is what will be covered in this very video so if you want to know exactly how to be use candlestick when we're trading the stock market make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because i think you're going to like what i got So here's what will be covered in this very video, right? Number one, we'll look at what is candlestick and how do we use it to trade stocks. We'll dive into the basics of candlestick. What does it even mean uh, by the different colors, the red color, green color, the lines up and down? What does it even mean, all right? And we look at some candlestick chart patterns as well, what it means. There's some common ones. We'll dive into them as well. And more importantly, not really uh, be bothered by the names, but to really understand what goes on behind that candle. Once you understand what happens behind, you can pretty much apply it to any candle that comes out. All right. Next, we'll go on to look at some of your common candlestick patterns as well and where do we want to find this candlestick pattern. So most of the time, you know, people look at candlestick um, just by itself in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the chart, but it doesn't really make sense if you're just looking at candlestick by itself, right? It actually needs to happen at what we call a good area of value, right? An area whereby if we see certain things, we see certain candles, then it will increase our odds of winning if we are taking that particular trade, right? So not just anywhere randomly in the chart, whether it's bullish or bearish, um, we want to spot it at the right areas, at the right zones, or we call it areas of value. So we look at some of these areas of value as well as to where we want to spot these candlesticks, right? we look at some uh, real life case studies as well that can you know pretty much when we spot this candlestick at these zones right it can kind of like increase our odds of winning uh, much more rather than just you know spotting it anywhere in the chart all right and yes we look at some real life case studies on how to actually execute a trade using candlestick all right and we kind of like combine uh the rest of it all in terms of like looking at the trend we look at how uh do we want to like draw certain support and resistance lines to kind of like search for such candles, right? So if you want to find out exactly what are all these things that we covered, make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. Of course, guys, give me a like as well. It will definitely help out the channel. And thank you so much for doing that. Of course, smash the subscribe button if you have not yet done so, so that you will not miss out on any videos like this. So let's just move on right now. Okay, let's take a look at what is uh, the basics of um, candlestick, right? What does it mean uh, by candlestick, right? So basically on any of the charts that we're looking at, uh, let me just go ahead to pull out this charts for you. I mean, most of the charts that we're looking at, uh, pretty much people are looking at candlestick, right? So these are pretty much the charts you're looking at. Uh, that's what we call like a, a green bar, a red bar, you know, and a certain lines moving around. But this is pretty much what we call candlestick, right? So when we're looking at stock market, uh, we're looking at like what we call um, daily candlestick. So every single day there'll be like a candlestick bar right it could be a red bar right here it could be a green bar and you know sometimes you can see that each of these candlestick bar that is what we call like some little black lines like coming up and down so what does it even mean all right before we look at uh the stock itself right so let me just dive back into the charts uh, to explain to you right so this is like i say right a green bar and a red bar which is pretty much what we see in the chart itself so most people use candlestick because it is very visual or right? of course you can use like a bar chart a line chart several types of chart but i would say most people uh, use candlestick because it's much more visual just a glance of it because of the color you can kind of like see whether is it like green or red and whether is it like a good or bad uh, you know bearish or bullish candle right so let me just explain to you what i mean right so let's take a look at the green bar so a green bar just means whereby you know, it prices uh, were to open lower and close higher. So a green bar just means it opens lower. It means it opens right here and it closes higher right here. Okay, so every single day when a stock were to trade, right? Every single day when a stock were to trade, there's pretty much four prices, right? So these are like facts, right? Every day there's a four prices, and you know, this four price would be the opening price. Of course, the, the stock need to open, right? So once you open and start trading at 9 a.m., 
um, there'll be opening price right and then when it closed for the day there will be a closing price unless it, it's like hotter it's not trading of course we do not it doesn't open it doesn't close then of course we would not have the price but any single stock that trades right that opens for the day there will be an opening price and there will be a closing price right and within the day itself a stock can move up and down all right i mean it can open and it can move up or it can open and move down it, you know that, that's how it works right it can um you know so so basically it moves up all right um there is what we call a day high a day high that means that's the high of the day it touches that high and prices comes back down and of course it could be a day low as well that means it opens it goes all the way down all right and bounces back up and that's what we call a day low right so just based on this four prices right the opening the closing the high and the low we have a candle all right we have a candle and the pretty much the color um just depends on whether the opening price and the closing price is like which is higher right so if it opens lower and close higher then it opens here went down pushes all the way back up and closes right here closes at the top right above the opening price then the bar is green in color right so it's a bit more visual right so just by looking at a green bar you know that you know, it kind of like closes higher all right and, and that's it right it just means that it closes higher okay and for a red bar it means that it opens higher all right and at the end of the day it closes lower all right it closes lower that's it right of course we have the high of the day and the low of the day that is represented by what we call the shadows right this black um lines black little lines at the top here at the bottom here this is what we call the shadows this shows the high of the day and the low of the day right so a specific candlestick bar all right um does not show like the sequence that happens in the day all right it just shows pretty much the four prices in the day itself right so it doesn't show like you know when it opens here did it like go up first and then it comes back down you know what, what happens in between at 10 a.m or at 3 p.m it doesn't show that it just shows that you know it opens here it can go up or down whatever the sequence we didn't know but the fact is the low is here the high is here all right so that's pretty much how uh, we look at a specific candlestick bar so of course what would be like a more bullish candlestick bar um is it like the green or the reds um definitely a green bar would be more bullish than a red bar just by looking at it in comparison the red or green uh, a red and green right a green would be definitely more bullish than the red bar all right so if you see like a green bar um definitely is more bullish because it kind of like opens lower and close higher it just shows that buyers are pretty much um you know prepared to push prices higher all right and it can close somewhere at the day high or at a higher point all right and that's that's a good thing it's a bit more bullish whereas a red bar would be a little bit more bearish because you know buyers kind of like you know op you open lower and then you know buyers kind of like lost out sellers came back push prices down 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 and it closes lower below the opening price so this is just pretty much what it means by a one candlestick bar whether it's green or red this is what it means by just looking at one specific candlestick bar okay so let's move on to take a look at some of the common all right single day candlestick bar and what does it really mean so there are many many names for like different candlestick bar but i think if we just want to focus on what happens uh, behind that candlestick bar to really understand what it means then you don't really have to care about the names all right so pretty much what we covered just now was like a green bar a red bar the standard uh, common bar all right i think more of you understand what it means by looking at the day bar but let's take a look at a few candlestick bar whereby it kind of like looks a little bit different and what does it really mean right so let's take a look at this uh first bar right here on the left you can see uh this is pretty much like a green bar a green bar so just now when we look at the green bar you know there is what we call uh like a shadow the black line at the top and the black line at the bottom right but in this case um this bar i mean is there any like black lines at the top and bottom no right so what does it mean right um is, is this like more bullish or is it like more um pretty much the same as the other one all right i would say that this bar is a little bit more bullish all right and the reason is because you can see that there's no um black lines or what we call shadows at the top that means the high of the day is pretty much right here the low of the day is also right here at the the opening price so it opens lower and close higher that's that's a fact because it's green right remember when i say it's green just means it opens lower and close higher right but there's no high and low of the day in terms of the black line because the closing price also coincides with the high of the day all right if not there would be like a black line or a, uh, kind of like a 
upper shadow right here but there is a right so this is what we call uh, uh like kind of like it closes right at the day high it opens lower and closes it right at the day high. so when we see this bar we say it's more bullish than a bar with like the upper and lower shadow why because basically when it opens right here you can see that buyers were pretty much in control all the way um, throughout the entire day it did not even try to push lower than the opening price all right it kind of like just pushes up 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 of course uh, in the in between the day as i say the sequence we wouldn't know it could like come down a little bit right in the middle of the day but it pushes all the way up and it closes right here at the top at the day high so when that happens it shows that buyers are pretty much in control throughout the day and that's what we call a quite a bullish candlestick bar all right compared to one with like an upper shadow and lower shadow like what i've shown to you uh previously over here all right so this is the one that is the standard one there's an upper shadow there's a lower shadow but in this case which what we had right is pretty much just a green bar without any upper and lower shadow okay so next one this is another bar all right and this is something like what we call a hammer all right a hammer that pretty much have what we call a lower shadow a lower shadow that means it kind of like opens um lower and close higher so green as i say is the same thing green just means open lower close higher but in this case right there is no upper shadow there's no black line at the top right there is a black line at the bottom it just means that the low of the day is right here all right there's the low of the day and it kind of like opens higher and actually went down 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 so pretty much you know in the middle of the day it could actually be like a red bar it could actually be a red bar because you know pretty much when it opens here it went down to a low of here so when you're looking at this stock you know at, at this particular day itself at like 2 p.m or maybe like 10 a.m or something it was actually like a red bar because it opens and and it was like pretty much at this point in time was like lower all right and it was a red bar but then uh, at the end of the day or right, so somewhere near the end of the day buyers came out and pushed prices back up 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 even above the opening price right above the opening price up and eventually closing right at the top right closing right at the top at the day high because you can see that uh, this is the closing price and there's no upper shadow so it closes right at the day high so when we see this bar we say that this is also what we call a bullish candlestick bar compared to just one that is just you know upper and lower shadow in this case we have a long long lower shadow so that's good right the longer the lower shadow is right the better it is the more bullish it is the the stronger it is i mean in terms of it reversing back out of course as i say we want to spot it at the right areas right not just randomly anywhere in the chart we want to spot it at the right areas and that can really increase our odds of winning right but by just looking at this bar just take note if we see a bar all right with a really really long lower shadow right the longer it is the better it means that you know the longer shadow just means that sellers were pretty much in control they push prices all the way down because it's like super long it's like really long so they push prices all the way down I maybe mean, it could be here like super long but buyers came back and push it all the way back up all right and then so like the longer the shadow it means like sellers were in control in the beginning of the day but at the end of the day buyers came back and took it all the way back up recovering some good grounds and closing somewhere at the high right so sometimes this could also be a uh, red in color it could also be red in color that means in this case it opens uh, lower all right i mean look at this green bike opens lower and close higher but if it's red in color it just means that it opens higher and close lower right so it could, it could be a red bar but even if it's like a red bar but we see a long lower shadow so it can be a red bar but like a long lower shadow a long black line like what we see here it could actually be a good thing as well because it just shows that bias came back uh, much much stronger at the um, end of the day all right so this is what we call like a hammer all right but as i say you don't really need to know the names but these two bars are what we want to spot in terms of the bullish uh, actions bullish price actions and we want to spot it at the right area so right, i'll come to that in a bit all right so let's move on to uh, the next candlestick bar right so this is pretty much two candlestick bar like share view and this is what we call like a doji all right a doji and you can see that there is like no colors right there's no colors for these two bar right there's no red there's no green it's pretty much like a cross and what does it even mean it just means that you know the opening price and the closing price is the same right because if it's like green in color it opens lower and close higher but in this case there's no green and red means the opening price and the closing price is the same right so within the day itself you know you went up went down there's a high there's the low and it, pretty much there's nobody who won all right buyers and sellers with this 
you know, kind of like a tug of war pulling it on each side. So you go up and down, up and down, and it closes right in the center, all right? And that's where the opening price and the closing price is the same, right? In this case here, you can see that, yeah, opening price and closing price is the same as well. The only difference is that the upper shadow and the lower shadow is a little bit longer, right? So I would say that um, in this case, this would be a little bit more meaningful in terms of uh, a potential reversal. So when we see this as some really good areas of value or uh, areas whereby we can potentially spot a reversal because it has like push up a little bit, push up to uh, you know some really high resistance level or like a major resistance level whereby you know it's time to see some profit taking and if we see it there that could be a, a you know kind of like a signal whereby we might see a reversal or maybe if you have like kind of like sold off to like many many days to an area whereby you know there could be some bargain hunting coming back you know some buyers i think to do um catch the, the low and catch the bottom and we see this right at like a good support level as well it could kind of point to a good revoke so these two are pretty much what we call like a revoke so candle we want to spot it for some good revoke so and, and that's where you can kind of like find it somewhere at the bottom or somewhere at the top that would be the best but not really like somewhere in the middle because it doesn't really mean anything all right but if it's somewhere at the top and bottom i could i think it could be a really really good uh signal for a potential reversal whether is it from up to down or from down to up all right so this is the what we call a doji all right doji d-o-j-i that's what we call a doji a uh, candlestick bar all right next let's move on to another one right so this is a red bar right so pretty much the same as what we have over here the green bar all right and uh and this red bar i mean i, I think you would know that it's more bearish right it's more bearish this is a red candlestick bar it just means same thing it opens higher and close lower all right but as you can see right there isn't any um upper shadow there's no lower shadow as well it just means it opens higher right here the opening price the higher the day it closes lower which is also the day low all right that's the day low and there is no like a lower shadow so this i would say is a bit more bearish as well we see at the right spot it could also lead to a potential reversal or a sell down or maybe a potential uh level or uh, support level that might be broken if you see it right there it could be quite bearish as well right we try to spot this bar uh, in a bit later when we look at some live case studies right next one right here right so this is a red bar all right so this is what we call like something like a shooting star or an inverted inverted hammer right something like what we hear but you can see this is opposite right so in this case we have a long upper shadow a long upper shadow you can see that it kind of like opens higher went all the way up right went all the way up and you know bias were in control in the day itself right in control right kind of pushes up and it was pretty much like a green bar in the middle of the day it was a green bar because it opens and went up so it was a green bar but then it went up all the way to a certain level at this high and sellers came back and pushed it down 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 so instead of turning from green it became green 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 and eventually it went lower right below below the opening price so from green it went down 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 lower and become like red already all right and it closes right at the um low of the day all right so this is what we call like a shooting star if you were to see it at those levels whereby you know heavy selling is happening and you know, prices have pushed up by quite a fair bit over extended in terms of the trend and we see right at the top then you want to be careful because it could potentially lead to more downside or like a revoke so happening from up to down in the short term right so this is pretty much uh the few candlestick that you want to take a look at and this is pretty much what we want to search uh in this what we call areas of value where do we want to find this candlestick right as i say it's good that you look and spot this candlestick but you want to also see at the right areas not just randomly uh in the middle of nowhere which doesn't really make any sense right if you speak at, at a good area of value at the right zones then i think it can really increase your odds of winning or uh, i mean in terms of uh, taking a good potential entry trade uh in the right direction right so let's move on okay so now that we have looked at some of the most common um candlestick bars right the next thing would be you know where do we want to spot this candlestick mask right as i say all right you can see a bar you know just hanging around a chart or somewhere but if it doesn't really happen in the right places uh it doesn't really make sense right and you couldn't really tell much from it right so if you want to spot it at what we call the right areas or the right zones and where are pretty much the zones right let me just go to explain to you this concept right here of what we call uh, a support and a resistance level right so most of the time right a stock uh, will be in what we call 
a consolidation phase. That means it kind of like moves sideways, all right? It moves up and down, up and down. And when it kind of like hit the top level, this is what we call a resistance level. You can see it touches, it comes down, touches, comes down, touches, come down. This is what we call a resistance level, something like the ceiling, all right? You throw a ball up, it will come back down, right? That's like a resistance level. And a support level would be something whereby, you know, it prices would to hit down, it rebounces back up, it hits down, it rebounces back up. This is what we call a support level. Like we're staying on the floor right now and we jump on it and you know, pretty much we'll, we'll just bounce from the floor, all right? Or you throw a ball on the floor, it rebounds back up. So this is how it works, right? Most of the time, more than 70 to 80% of the time, uh, the stock will be in what we call a consolidation phase. You can call it or a sideways movement, all right? And when this happens, it can kind of like provide some opportunities for entry and exit, especially if we were to see some good uh, candlestick bars, right? Like what we have um, you know, learned um, just now, right? So where do we want to see this candlestick bar? Right? So of course, later we look at some case studies, but let me just explain to you uh, the potential areas whereby you can find this candlestick bar. So remember just now we covered like in terms of these green bars, right? Here one is like, a bar which is like opens uh, lower, close, highest. There's uh, you know, no upper and lower shadow. It's like pretty much um, opens at the day low, closes at the day high, really good bullish bar. And this will be called like a hammer whereby we have a long lower shadow, right? So when we can like spot this two bars somewhere near the support level, look at this like S1, S2, S3, S4, this is like the support level whereby it rebounded. And if prices were to hit to these levels right here, you can see it kind of rebounded, rebounded, it rebounded. So of course, in this support and resistance is just like a line bar, all right? But when we're looking at the chart later, it will be like many, many, different candlestick bars right as i showed you just now each of the day there's like one candlestick bar right so we will see like you know this over here or maybe this over here and somewhere it approaches this support level that is where we could potentially see a good entry all right a good rebound happening from the support level especially if this stock is in an uptrend right i'll not talk about so much about trend today but pretty much we look at the areas whereby we can spot this uh, bars right so if it's like a good support level we spot this good bullish candles right here it could be a really good signal for a potential rebound right from this support levels okay so the next one would be what we call the dojis right remember something like the cross right whereby uh there's like no red and no green in color because it kind of like opens and close at the same price all right so this is what we call like a reversal candle all right and yes if we were to see this all right these two like dojis of course the longer one the one with the like a longer upper and lower shadow would be a bit more meaningful a bit more uh powerful i would say if you can like sit right here at the support levels a good potential rebound can actually happen or maybe we see right at the top here as well right so as i say resistance is where uh we can pretty much see selling coming back on right? the fact that we have like touched about three times four times five times and if we see like the sixth time all right this like a reversal candle like a doji right at the point all right when we hit towards this resistance it can potentially lead to a reversal back down just like what we have seen many many times right so this is where we want to spot this candles right here and this um selling zone right near the resistance level as we approach r1 r2 and r3 this is what we call the sell zones all right whereby selling can actually happen all right what about the red candles remember we talked about this red candles as well all right this is one whereby it's quite bearish because it kind of like opens higher and close lower and pretty much closes at the day low all right sellers pretty much in control all right and this is what we call like a um, shooting star all right whereby you know become like pushed up in a day sellers came back and pushed prices all the way back down we have like a long upper shadow all right so when we see this all right somewhere near the resistance level as i say r1 r2 r3 right and these areas whereby it kind of uh, pushes down all right we see right here it can be quite uh, a bearish signal whereby you know some selling can actually come back again we might start to see that retracement back down like what we have experienced right so this is what we call a consolidation phase as i say most of the time uh, stock will be in what we call consolidation phase it doesn't just go up every single day or go up or go down every single day right because uh, most of the time people would like to take some profit uh, as it pushes up or maybe it goes down people would like to cover their shorts to buy back again it might start to see a rebound as well all right, and that's why uh, we have uh, what we call consolidation phases. And when we have consolidation phases, that's where we have support and resistance. And that's where we can kind of like search for this specific candlestick bar to spot any reversal, uh, 
you know, kind of happening or when, as we approach these levels. Okay, so let's do a quick recap of uh, what we've learned so far, all right, regarding like candlestick and uh, where do we want to find them, right? So this is what we call the candlestick patterns framework, all right? So step one would be uh, we want to spot candlestick patterns at or near right it doesn't really just happen somewhere at a support or resistance level of course sometimes you want it to be like really nice in the chart but in reality right it doesn't happen so nicely sometimes we can spot it as it nears the support or as it nears the resistance level all right and that's good enough right that's good enough for uh, a good signal or a good potential entry right so we want to spot it at or near the support or resistance level for any reversal or you know reversal signal that can lead to a potential entry all right and trades are best to be taken near this support and resistance level with a plan right even if we are not able to spot any candles so of course as i say when we spot this candlestick bars at these good areas of value all right that will increase our odds of winning all right in that particular trade of course we still need a plan as well all right and even sometimes even if we don't spot candlestick there all right it doesn't mean we cannot take a trade right sometimes as i say it doesn't happen so nicely even though we don't spot any of those like a uh, hammer and all that um we can still take a trade but with the good candle, it can kind of point towards a good reversal in terms of the direction, a much higher chance of a profitable trade, right? So we still need a plan uh, to take the trade with in terms of like the upside targets, the stop loss and all that, whether or not you see a candle. So it doesn't mean if you see a good candle means you don't need a plan. No, 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 you still need a plan, whether the candle is good or not, or whether you spot at whatever candles we talked about just now. All right, just that when you take that trade, there's a higher probability of making a good profitable trade. Okay, so yes, candlestick patterns, you know, in terms of the spe a specific candlestick bar, it can definitely give us more confirmation for any potential entry. And if we really can spot it at the right zones, right? That would be a good thing. All right, so let's move on, right? So let's take a look at some real life um, case studies and examples and kind of like apply whatever we have learned today, all right? So we look at some real life um, stocks, US stocks, all right? And try to spot some of those candles, so right? As I say, right, not just spot them randomly, but kind of like see how it plays out for them when we spot them at the right area so i want to spot them at the right area so i told take note of where you are actually seeing them right as i say we'll walk you through we'll see if you can spot them at some of those good areas that we talk about in terms of like the support and resistance and what actually played out once we have spotted them all right so this is uh, what we look at in just a bit all right and also um take a look at the trend of the stock as well so i think just now we did not really cover uh the trend of stock you can look at some other videos which focus a bit more on the trend of the stock whether is it in an uptrend or a downtrend so what we try to take trades uh that are pretty much along with the trend right not against the trend because if you are with the trend uh there's a higher chance of being right i mean it's harder to go wrong if you are with the trend Make sense all right so we want to be along with the trend right so yeah i mean we can take a look as well i'll not cover too much about trend you can check out my other videos on that but um trend could be a part to play as well all right in terms of where we want to take a trade all right next would be candlestick bar is only one part of the equation right i say normally what we're going to do is we'll look at the trend we'll look at the support and resistance we'll look at areas of value near the support and resistance and then all right we look at the candlestick bars that plays out in these areas right for a good entry right it doesn't just it, 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 you don't just look at a candlestick bar by itself randomly in the middle of nowhere without looking at the trend or where we are in relation to the support and persistence you don't do that right it will just be really uh, meaningless right you don't know where you are you don't know what's the target you don't you, you don't really know how to build a plan just by looking at a few candlestick bar by itself all right so it's only one part of the equation you want to get with the trend as well and all that right so yes it needs to happen at the right places if it happens in the right places so let's dive into some real life case studies and charts right now at some of the you know us stocks and see if we can find any of those candlestick bars that we have talked about so let's take a look at the case study all right and this is a stock right here called applied materials all right one of those good up trending stock but we'll not look too much about the trend today all right we look at the candlestick bar and see uh, where we could actually find some of those candlestick bars that we have covered just now and where it actually happens all right so this is applied material somewhere in like 2020 and as i say most of the time right we can uh, draw what we call the support and resistance lines like right? the horizontal lines 
Uh, most of the time, I say more than 70 to 80% of the time, a stock would be in what we call consolidation phase, right? As it consolidates up and down, and that's where we form like a high, whereby it touches, it comes back down, touches, comes back down. That's what we call resistance. And a support level is one whereby it kind of rebound from that level uh, two, three, four, and five times, right? The more, the better it is, the stronger the support is, all right? And that's how it works, right? So this is applied materials, and you can see I've drawn pretty much what we call um, these black horizontal lines right here. All right, right here, and you can see that uh, there was a little bit of resistance right here around that 70, uh, I would say $70, right, $70, and a bit of support coming in around that $55 level. So let me just go ahead to draw it for you. This was pretty much uh, the range back then in 2020, all right, 2020. Um, this is the range right here from about 55 to about that $70 level, right? So there was a little bit of a support. Of course, we actually came down, right? So you can see we we're consolidating here, up, down, up, down. And we broke this like support at 55, all right? And we actually went all the way down to like the, the next support level, all right? Which is about like 35, 36 level. This was where we were, all right? Due to um, the COVID and all that, all right? Kind of like sold off. And eventually we rebounded back up and came back to this um, same range uh, which is where we were before the sell down, up, down, up, down, and now we are back here again. So this was pretty much the range. So as it consolidates in this range, right, that is where we can see if we can spot uh, like the candlestick bars that I've talked about, right? So this is pretty much the resistance at about the $70 as well. And you can see as we approach this level, of course, at this point in time, we wouldn't really know that this is a resistance level because it will be what we call an all-time high around here, right? We wouldn't know what is the resistance level, but the fact that we sold off from this level the first time, that could be uh, a good resistance level. I mean, in terms of like selling coming back if we were to head to that level again at 70. So yeah, we kind of like rebounded back and see right here above 55, went up, 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 up as I push this and look at this right here. So this is where we saw another candle right here. Let me just zoom it in for you right here. You can see this is a candle. And what does this candle look like? Does it look like the same as this one right over here when we saw it at near that $70, right? As I say, we want to see it as it approaches a resistance level. We, doesn't, we don't really see it sometimes right at the right point, right? But as it nears that level and we see that, that could be a good thing, right? So yeah, same thing. We spot this candle right here. And this is something whereby we call it uh, something like a doji, right? We have like a long upper shadow, long lower shadow as well. It can potentially lead to a reversal, right? Especially if we were to break below uh, the low of this particular candlestick day, right? So in terms of this day, all right, the low of the day would be about $66.50 to give it a bit of leeway, maybe like $66. And if we were to actually go back down below that $66 right here, that is where uh, potentially we can see like more weakness happening down, all right, more down, all right, for example, right here, we could potentially see more weakness just by having this bar, if we were to kind of like push below the day low, or maybe to give it a bit more allowance below the $66, that is where more selling can actually happen because this $70, as I say, is a resistance level. We have sold off from it before. And now as we approach here, all right, we saw a, a kind of like a reversal candle, all right? Of course, we spotted something like a, a shooting star whereby a long upper shadow, a red bar, remember we covered that, or maybe like a doji, that would, that would be a good one as well. That could be a good signal, right? But we want to see a bit more confirmation in terms of prices breaking the low of this day for like more downside, right? More downside. But the key here is where is the downside do we want to see it go down to before some bargain hunting can actually come back again? I mean, you could like hit all the way down here, like but how do we know like how do it can go, right? So yes, we write the reversal as it pushes up, we write it down, back down, but how do we know how low it can go? That is where we can look at like the support level. As I say, right, 55, right? 55 was this support level we have been holding above. We broke it, we came back up, so a bit support turned resistance, we went up and now you can see we traded back up, we came back down again, all right, we came back down again, and same thing, we approach this. 55 um support level we approach this 55 support level let me just zoom it in uh, for you guys right here and that's where potentially all right we can see some bargain hunting all right so yeah i mean if, if we hit to this level i mean some of you might say we can just rush in to buy straight away because uh you know this support will probably hold right? i mean it's been holding as you can see right here uh this is quite a bullish candle here we, we saw this bullish candle here and had to rebound so as it hits there again 
we can just buy and you know it will rebound i mean it should rebound right but not necessarily right because we ha we can hit to 55 all right same thing here when we hit to 55 we actually broke down all right when we broke to 55 we went to like 35 all right so in this case if we just hit to 55 and you just just buy and and just whack you know and then think that it will rebound i mean yeah sometimes you're lucky it might rebound because we have indeed rebounded previously but as i say we want to wait for some good bullish candles right here all right hopefully we can see like a hammer a doji like what we spotted here right at the top now we want to spot it at the bottom right, at the support level all right and if it does that would be a good thing sometimes it doesn't happen as i say support level is where we want to see a potential rebound and if you can see the candle happening right there uh it presents itself that would be a good thing but even if it doesn't show itself as well we can also take a trade but just that it might not be a a, a, a good trade a highly profitable trade in terms of the odds of winning all right if we, then if we were to see like a good reversal candles right here right so Either way, you still need a plan, right? Let's say if you to buy at like 56 or 57 because you wanted to catch the rebound back up, all right, all the way up to like the 70 or maybe 65. Uh, as I said, this was the range then, right? So if you want to kind of like catch the rebound back up, yeah, I mean, it's quite a good upside, more than like 10, 20% upside. Um, that is where you want to have a plan as well because if the 55 support level would be broken down, right? because right now we, we kind of like went up, right? But if the 55 were to break down, we can actually see more selling happening right so you want to have a plan in terms of like how to do it let me just go it to draw it for you in terms of like the plan so for example let's say you take a trade and you know this is pretty much your upside targets all the way back up to like 70 and you want to have like a stop loss as well in case um you know prices to do like just go back down and if it were to kind of break this 55 support level all right even if you see that candlestick bar that that good hammer or that good reversal candle you still need a plan because if it breaks down, yeah, you want to stop loss, right? You want to limit your losses, probably you want to lose a specific amount of money right here. This could be a stop loss level as it breaks the support because it might actually, you know, go all the way down. If you don't have a stop loss, you're just like holding it all the way down like 35. It could actually happen. So make sure you have a stop loss, but in terms of this stop loss and the upside targets, the reward to risk ratio is quite a good one, about more than four times reward to risk ratio. Normally we'll see at least more than two or three times, but in this case, more than four times. So that's a good reward to risk ratio and we can potentially see a good rebound uh, from this level right so this is pretty much how we do a plan whether or not uh let me just remove it whether or not you see like a good reversal candle all right but let's take a look right so in this area of value right here 55 we did see a couple of good bullish candles so it was actually holding above this support level for like about two weeks and then we spotted this bullish candle you can see open and close open here went up all right and like, this is like what we call a lower shadow so i actually went below uh the low is like 54.15 so it kind of like went below actually right below that 55 all right but buyer came up and pushes it up 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 all the way back up and closes somewhere at the day high so this was where it was consolidated but this candle could be a good one as well it shows that hey you know this support at 55 seems like it's still holding all right and with this candle it's looking not too bad all right of course based on this candlestick bar here right we can actually come kind of, uh, get what we call uh, uh like a temporary resistance level let me just go to draw it for you right so it's a bit of a temporary resistance level you can see let me just put it in red color just to be a bit clear right so it was like consolidating 55 to what 50 58 right 55 to 58 and of course we saw this bullish candle 55 to 58 up down up down and yeah i think if we can break this like you know temporary resistance level you can see the past few days it kind of like traded lower touch came back down so 58 seems like a little bit of a resistance then right then all right and eventually on this day right here on this specific day right here that is where we kind of broke that um you know that that high that that kind of like the two weeks high uh, at the 58 temporary resistance level so that can be a good thing whereby you know yeah we can potentially start to see uh the upside start to happen all right all the way back up towards that 70 level that could be a good entry uh, right here or right, right here of course we kind of like went up a bit came back down you can see but we was like supported still above 58 and eventually it started to to push up all the way here and then we came back down somewhere around here and we bounded up all right so of course you need a plan as well as it pushes up you want to take steps to protect your profits and it went up by about 13 percent before coming back down again all right so yeah i think that could be a good reversal candle but so we have kind of like spotted like i would say um two candles right so one right at the top here one right here as well near the 70 somewhere at the support level we spotted like two this could be near the support level as well okay we, we got, uh, spotted another one here a green bullish bar all right and i would say uh maybe somewhere around here as well look at this right so this was like the 58 all right we can actually like you know head back down 
to 55 to 58 and same thing we want to spot some good bullish reversal candle right here anything in this range from 55 to 58 to right the upside all right but as i say sometimes it doesn't happen uh you know right at this spot for you right you just might go down 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 and somewhere as it nears the support level buyers come back up and it rebounded so this is quite a good bullish candle right something like a bullish engulfing not really because it opens somewhere in the center but if you will actually open lower all right even lower than this day that would be a good thing they come like open lower and went all the way up and closes right at the top it completely engulfs this day that would be what we call a bullish engulfing you can read more about it but that would be a really good day but yeah i mean this is quite a good i would say bullish candle as well the fact that we went back above this 55 to 58 level and you can see that the upside really started all the way back to that 70 level right so as it approach 70 all right same thing right as it approaches at 70 is pretty much like first second and third time right the third time that we are heading back to this resistance level and we can actually see selling i mean we can actually see like another uh you know like this candle right here or like a shooting star or like a doji which can actually point to more i mean not more downside but like a potential retracement back down again right just like what we have seen like two times already so it could actually happen right but yeah i mean we did not see that candle and you know we did not see like a reversal candle back down and what happened was we actually saw this um, bullish candle right here look at this day eventually you can see on this day we come close at about that um 70.53 all right just above that 70 dollars so that's a good sign whereby you know yeah buyers are pretty much um you know serious all right to kind of clear that level to clear all the sellers at the 70 psychological level whereby we sold off about two times and this time we managed to break it so that's a good sign whereby buyers are ready to take this stock higher and that's where targets can actually be raised and this resistance could actually now be like a new uh, support level it could actually be like a new support level right here as we raise our targets up uh, all the way higher of course we wouldn't know how high it can go now we can see it but at the point in time we wouldn't know so as it pushes higher you can kind of like let it uh, you know push higher and you know come protect your profits as prices were to push up so uh, as prices were to push up so anytime you like reverse back down below like a support like for example like this uh, it pushes to somewhere around 80 so 80 would be a good support if you come back down below 80 you want to take steps to get out but you know it kind of like went up went up went up somewhere around here so it kind of like form a little bit of support around that 84 85 so if you were to break this support you could actually get out as well right so this is pretty much where uh, we will then all right so i think we have kind of like spotted some of those candles let's see if you can spot a little bit more okay let's see where we are right now so kind of like push up, up. so quite a good uptrend for this company all right uh, applied materials started to push up and we did see a little bit of a consolidation let me just go ahead to draw this um line so as i say this is horizontal uh support and resistance line you can see this is pretty much like a, a bit of a resistance level let's change it black in color maybe not so thick right here here okay and another what we call like a support level i think somewhere around that one two five we did see a little bit of support all right so you can see this is zoom in to around here so you have to push up you can see after breaking this 70 um the uptrend really started quite well all right from like 70 went to 80 100 and about 120 all right so quite a good um move up all right just by breaking this resistance level that i talked about we did not see a retracement back down we break it and the uptrend really started so that could be actually another good move whereby if in an uptrend we break a resistance level that is where uh, the upside can potentially continue even further right so went up went up went up of course you want to take steps to protect your profits as it pushes up all right and of course if you see like any reversal candle happening as well that could be a good move to to kind of like take some profit and get out as well like for example right here you can see Let's see if you can spot another candle you can see this is like another candle right here another candle right here you can see right at the top maybe at this point in time one two five would be a resistance level so when we see this it kind of went down we see this we went down so this would be i would say a resistance level so this could be a kind of like a good level to kind of like take some uh, money off the table as well all right uh, because we kind of like saw two uh, i would say reversal candle back down right at the resistance level and that's where if we near it again we could actually uh, see some selling right so same thing we get we kind of like sold off we sold off here and and then uh you know it kind of like we saw a bit of consolidation some good higher support coming back around that 105 and eventually went back up again right but some selling came back again so that could be kind of a, another level where i could take some profit all right and let's take a look right so eventually we broke this 
one two five right and that was pretty much the consolidation let me just zoom out for you guys right so this was pretty much consolidation phase so let's see if we can uh, spot any of those revokes or candle as it consolidates here all right so this is like the consolidation phase from about one two five to one four five right look at this right it rebounded look at it this. this is a good bullish candle we sort off all right you can see it's support went down went back up so it came uh, like a support again and this was another bullish candle right here we rebounded you can see pop up up three days of upside and started to push up here uh another uh look at this right look at this right here this is uh i would say like a, a, a bearish candle not really bearish i mean it's green bar in color but you can see a long upper shadow right something like what we call a shooting star whereby a long upper shadow sellers were in pretty much um, losing at the day in the morning right because buyers push it up 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 but sellers came back and pushed prices back down 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 because it's still close higher on this day but there's a long upper shadow which shows that yeah there could be uh, some selling coming in right yeah and then you can see we start to consolidate and eventually we, we had this red bar there where we broke below 140 and the selling actually happened back down here back down all the way to that one two five level right back to the one two five level and same thing as we approach this one two five level let's see if we can spot any like reversal candles happening right look at this this is another red bar long lower shadow happening right here so that's a good confirmation whereby you know every time it hits to the one two five if we see like a hammer and all that a doji it could be a good uh, you know signal of a good entry right so in this case we got like a green bar right here as it approaches one two five i think the day low was around uh one two five point two eight we saw this bar as it consolidates so when we spot this reversal candle doesn't mean that you know the next day we just want to buy right because when we spot this reversal candle like a doji and all that we can kind of like draw what we call like a temporary resistance level right a temporary resistance level like i've just shown you guys because when we spot this bar right here it was actually consolidating from like one two five to about 130 all right 132 right right here so 130 up down and eventually you can see we broke this like two weeks resistance i think on this day right here and that is where i think on the 25th of august right and that's where the upside started back again all right started back again all the way to that what 145 right 145 why 145 because 145 has been pretty much the resistance right as i say this was like a candle right here you can see it went up you can see this is quite a good bullish bar right but it did not really break the one for five right it went up and the next day we got a red bar and it came back down again right so this is not like really a reversal candle it's not really like a, a doji and all that but uh the fact is we're still below this resistance level right so sometimes we don't really see it but you know if we we, we can't like see like a reversal candle right here near the one four five maybe like one four two one four three one four something that could be a good reversal back down again right back down again yes we did see like some selling back down again all the way where where to right same right same the one two five support level again by this time you can see you started to consolidate slightly lower uh you know one one two five to maybe about 130 look at this right very very two weeks type consolidation same thing here you console for two weeks went up two weeks went up all right so yeah as it consolidates that's where we could see like a, a two weeks consolidation a little bit of a look at this right here this is a green candlestick bar another green candlestick bar all right it doesn't really show much but it shows uh yeah that could be a reversal happening all right as long as we stay above that one two five eventually we broke this 130 all right so one two five to 130 eventually we broke this 130 and the upside happened all the way back up to that uh 145 right 145 level so 145 level okay and yeah we can actually as i say see selling happening right near that 145 because 145 is where we have sold off like you know one two three four five times so we can actually see selling and it might actually like you know come back down to this level back down here again to that you know 130 to 125 but no right we actually broke this one four five right resistance level so it's kind of like, that's a good thing right that's a good thing whereby the uptrend can actually continue further above one four five uh you know if we actually break the level and we stay above that one four five level so let me just go to draw like another line right here probably a bit of resistance about one six t right so that is pretty much where we are right now so yeah we have kind of like spotted a few of those candlestick reversal bars right candlestick bars that we've talked about in this consolidated phase so i think now you more or less have an idea of where to look at for these bars right not just randomly in the middle of nowhere but actually where 
if we were to approach or if we were to near, all right, as I say, not like specific at this point in time, but as we near this support and resistance levels, if we spot this specific uh, candlestick patterns, that would be a good thing uh, that can lead to any entry or a good reversal signal. Okay, so let's take a look again. I mean, let's say if um, right now, so this is live, right? I mean, this is live, we kind of like close at about the one four seven. You can see that we kind of like traded higher. So this was the range as I say, for like about you know, five to six months, from one, two, five to one, four, five. And we did see it moving up and down and you know those like reversal candles near the support, near the resistance level. And this was the range. So we have broken, as I said, we have broken this like one, four, five. So this would be kind of like the new higher level to take note of, all right, right here from the one, four, five, to 160 all right why 160 yeah because you have kind of like push higher look at this right push higher and you kind of like hit the high for around 160 and that's where some selling came back we sold off we rebounded we neared it again and came back down so 160 would now be the resistance level so yeah same thing right same thing like what we you know, we were consolidating here like 145 now instead of 145 it is 160 so if we were to see like any uh, candles right here in this range all right this could be like what we call a selling area a selling area whereby we see like a, a, a shooting star a doji you know like yeah look at this this is quite a, a great bearish candle you can see we went up to a high of around like 158 right 158 on this day and sellers came down and pushed price all the way back down and then you see next day we actually next few days we just sold off right so yeah if we see like any doji or like a, a kind of like a, a candle with like a long upper shadow not a good thing that's where we can potentially see uh the retracement happening back down again right here that would be like the support level whereby hopefully uh, we can see some bargain hunting right some some bargain hunting right so well, let's take a look at the support right now so as i say 145 was the resistance whereby we will actually kept below many many months right about five to six months and that would be like a new support level that would be a new support level right why you can see we can't rebounded from it we can't sort of rebounded from it and about two weeks back one week back uh look, look at this right these are the three candlestick bar whereby do you realize that there are there are some kind of like buying coming back why because there is a long lower shadow look look at this long lower shadow lower shadow lower shadow on this day as well this is like the 6th of from um, december 2021 all right there is like a long lower shadow so it actually went down and we actually went down below the 145 can you imagine we actually went down below it was like a red bar in the middle of the day but what happens was buyers came up and put just price all the way back up and it closes right here right at the top which is like what a, at uh, 147 which is above 145 all right so it kind of like shows or of course now it seems like we are coming back down here again all right we are coming back down here again in this area in this area this is what we call another area of value and that is where uh, potentially we can see some bargain hunting coming back again right especially we can see like like this bar here like a doji or like a hammer this is something like a hammer a long lower shadow right here it could be a good signal you know like what we've seen previously and then the rebound actually happened back up right to that 160 that could actually be uh, what we can try to spot in terms of the reversal back up does it make sense guys all right does it make sense so, so yeah i mean we can't like soap off so we can't close at 147 so we have to see right i mean uh, like today how it opens up if it opens somewhere around here went down and then in the next day we started to see like a good bullish candle uh, bright buyers coming back and push price back above that 145 like the second time I mean, it's not really second time but maybe one two three the fourth time now then this 145 would really become a really good support and, and that's where you can think about getting in all right to ride the rebound but of course right having said that there could be a potential whereby this 145 support might break as well because so far we have rebounded from it yes but if we would like to close below the 145 then maybe not so good that's where we can see some short-term weakness right actually coming back towards uh you know the 125 to 130 downside which is pretty much back to uh this range right this range that we were in six months go right here that could be like the next downside range back to the same range but hopefully all right hopefully we stay above that 145 right we stay above 145 we see some good bullish reversal candles here like we spotted then about two weeks back and we can see some good uh you know upside happening again all right so this is like one of those stocks that uh, we have looked at all right and i hope that you now have a clearer idea all right of where to actually spot 
this um, reversal candle yes you become like want to spot it at those really good uh, levels near the support and resistance lines not really in the middle of nowhere all right so i hope you now have a clearer picture of where to actually use candlestick patterns how to actually spot these candlestick bars at the right zones all right guys so there we have it we have gone on for almost an hour all right so even though we have this look at one case study but we have pretty much dive deep into it right deep into it all the way like one two years back and we look at each of the different levels whereby we can uh, you know find these candlestick patterns that we talk about right so let me just do a quick recap of what we have covered in this very video i think now you have a clearer idea of what uh, we are actually looking at right so we look at what is a candlestick i think right at the beginning we talk about like can candlestick bar a green bar a red bar and what does it even mean by those like little black lines the shadows and all that and we look at some specific uh, candlestick chart patterns as well we look at a few common ones like the hammer the one without any upper and lower shadow all right and yeah we couldn't really spot that but i think you more or less understand where to search for it all right and of course in the case study we look at the areas where but we want to find these uh, specific candlestick patterns and how it can actually increase our odds of winning when we were to see these candlestick patterns at the right area. So yeah, I think when we were to look at the chart just now in the case study, all right, you can see that many times when we spot these candlestick patterns at the right area, um, that potential reversal or that potential trade back up or down actually played out. All right, of course, sometimes it doesn't, but that's why you need a plan as well, whether or not uh, it goes, whether or not you spot this candlestick pattern. But most of the time it plays out because when we spot these candlestick bars at the right zones, our odds of success or odds of winning will increase dramatically, all right? And uh, yeah, we have looked through some case studies as well on how do we actually um, spot this candlestick and what do we do with it. So yes, pretty much we've come to the end of this video. So I hope you like this video, guys. We have dived deep into like a specific case study. I hope you have a clearer picture on how to actually use candlestick bars when you are trading in the stock market. Of course, we will look at um, trend and all that, but in this video, we look just pretty much at candlestick and I hope you have a good picture on how to do it, right? So guys, if you like this video, go ahead to give me a like, all right? Smash the like button, uh, the heart button, and of course, smash the subscribe button as well. It will definitely help out the channel and thank you so much for doing this, right? And let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts on this um you know on this video right in terms of candlestick in terms of how we use it let me know what your thoughts in the comments below i will definitely reply to each and every comment as well and thank you so much for watching joey here i look forward to see you in the next video take care